Hi, welcome to EDLD 5326 School Community Relations. I'm Dr. Cindy Cummings, and along with Dr. Donna Asney and Dr. Shelley Allen, we will be your course professors for this course. Each week we'll be sending you a link to a video that will go over the assignment and discussion board for the week. Uh, we're expecting you to review that video prior to the web conferences on Mondays so that uh, we can limit our questions and make sure that everyone is on the same page. So this week uh, you're going to be looking at beyond the school into the community. You're going to be watching Dr. Joyce Epstein's video and taking notes as you view it. And she's going to be talking about the process for creating the school family and community partnership that we're going to be using in this class. We're going to ask that you visit with your campus mentor or your representative. It might be uh, your assistant principal or someone that's there. And you're going to be gathering some data about existing programs that you have on your campus that involve families and community uh, members at your school. You're going to analyze some critical needs of your students with your campus mentor. And then you're going to analyze what's happening on your campus today with projects that you already have going and you're going to plan a meeting with the representatives of your site-based decision making that you're going to be meeting in week two. Now the thing about meeting with these folks, we understand that uh, it may be a little more difficult uh, to get with them face to face, so we're telling you that you are able to do it by phone, do it by Google Hangout, some uh, type of technology that you can use. Uh, you're going to, like I said, do an analysis, and then it's going to give you um, a chance to share your successful programs and learn how your programs can be improved. Your readings this week in the video is going to introduce you to Dr. Epstein and her research with uh, school, family, and community partnerships. And we hope that together, uh, after this course, you'll have the skills and the knowledge that you'll be able to improve the school, family, community partnerships on your campus. So let's start talking about the discussion board. So your week one discussion board is, you're again, going to be looking at Dr. Epstein's research team and looking at the six principles of a school partnership. You're going to review some promising partnership practices to learn about the six different types of, um, of uh, partnerships. And so you can find the PDF um, at this link. Um, this is you can go here and if you click on this link it will take you to um, Dr. Epstein's website and then you can also uh, look for success stories or you can just go to this link and there's a PowerPoint uh, excuse me a PDF and you'll just click on that PDF and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a look at the six areas of uh, partnerships and the components and there are success stories about each of these six types and you're gonna choose one success story under each of these six areas and you're going to write about it in your discussion board for this week. So uh, you choose which one you think is the most successful and uh, under each of these six areas and you're going to share with your colleagues and they're going to make this, uh, responses back to you. So you will have um, your initial response and some and then you'll have your um, responses to your colleagues. All right let's talk about week one. So uh, the overview of week one is that schools can and do uh, influence how your community supports the school and how it interacts with the school. You've got parents, you've got other family members, you've got businesses, all those uh, external stakeholders who interact with the students and the school personnel. And because research shows that the family community involvement has such a positive impact on student learning that we really need to be focusing on how do we increase all levels of community involvement. So in week one you're going to be taking a look at two of your current school family and community partnerships. Their goals, their levels of participation, what kind of impact they had on student learning, and any kind of uh, aspects that uh, either permit, prevent or promote their success. You're going to meet with your campus mentor and uh, or someone who uh, you can meet with this week to discuss those. You may have a school uh, partnership uh, director on your campus. Your assistant principal may be in charge of that. Uh, there may be someone else other than your mentor that you'll want to uh, to meet with. And so um, was, as you meet with your mentor or the representative, you're going to be thinking about 
What did this partnership accomplish? Who were the partnership stakeholders? What were the goals of the partnership? Um, how, what community resources were used? Um, how did the partnership uh, get the required uh, resources and approvals? Who led the program? Who also was involved? How did you communicate information or how did your school communicate information about the partnership to all stakeholders? Um, what other people and organizations were already working on this issue? How much time did it take to establish the partnership? What steps were uh, taken to establish and launch the partnership? What research, and this is really important, what research supports investing the time, money, and personnel in this partnership? And how is the partnership uh, evaluated? And as you start thinking about that you're going to be building uh, a new type of school partnership or you're going to be um, improving one that you already have, these are the kinds of things that you need to be thinking about. I mentioned already that you're going to be meeting in week two with representatives uh, of your campus improvement committee to just uh, decide and talk about what were the best partnership benefits for students. Again, this can be formal or informal, uh, however you need to do that. And then in weeks two and five, you're going to start designing with these representatives a new or strengthen an existing partnership uh, that can be integrated this, integrating with the school, family, and community resources. This is the rubric that, that will uh, guide you as you uh, complete week one assignment. So let's talk about week one. So the first thing you're going to do is analyze two of your partnerships. You're going to choose uh, two things that are currently going on on your campus right now. One that just involves parents. So that might be something like donuts with dads or muffins with moms. Uh, something that would be just involving the parents. And then you're going to look at one that involves the larger community. So it could be something like um, a health fair, or it could be something like a spotlight on your campus where you bring the whole community in to, uh, for students to present this, the work they've done. It might be a science fair, uh, something like that, that would involve uh, the, low, the larger community. And this is going to show uh, student needs that were addressed and who's involved in the program. And then we're going to complete a SWOT analysis. That's talking about the strengths and weakness, opportunities and threats on each of the partnerships that you have to analyze. So um, you're meeting with your campus mentor. You're going to discuss what are current and needed partnerships. Uh, you're going to look at school data uh, so that you can look at what might be some improvements or some sex successes. Uh, you're going to ask to see your campus plan, the campus goals, because each partnership has to be tied to campus goals. If it's not linked at this time, you're going to determine what goals might fit with current partnerships. Again, you're going to meet with those representatives for that team. So in preparation for week two, make sure that you set a date, discuss the agenda with your mentor, get everyone invited, and uh, get ready to uh, have that meeting. So part one, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be looking at your program name and description. So if you say um, this was uh, Donuts with Dads, uh, you can talk about how uh, the description would look like in the mornings before school, you invited all the dads to come and have donuts with their uh, children. The needs addressed might be that you did not see a lot of fathers being involved in school activities, so you really want to get the dads involved. So the level of participation, you can say, well, uh, our personnel, we had um, all of our teachers were there and our school administrators. For the family, you might say, um, you know, we had 50 dads show up. In the community, you might, you know, you could say we had two or three people. And then what was the impact on student achievement? So you'll talk about, uh, you know, the personnel, the families, and the community. How did that impact student achievement? You'll do the same thing for your larger community. So if this were a focus on uh, your school, you'll talk about the needs addressed where that you needed the community and the uh, parents to come into the school and see what the children were doing. Again, you'll talk about personnel, uh, level of participation, and then you'll talk about the impact on student. And then you'll talk about which program most effectively involves your family, school, and community of those two, and which one provides the most support for your school's partnerships. 
All right, uh, you're going to talk about uh, how's program information communicated. Remember, we talked about these questions at the beginning, so you'll answer each of these questions about uh, your programs. And then part two is going to be that SWOT analysis. So you're going to talk about what were the strengths of the parent program and the community program. Uh, you're going to talk about what were the weaknesses. And sometimes it could be uh, the cost. It could be... Um, you know that there weren't enough people there and then uh, you're going to talk about opportunities so what can you do to grow uh, how can you involve new people how can you get new funding those kinds of things and then the last piece of this is the threat so what people or factors threaten the success was it that we didn't have enough money you didn't have enough participation you didn't have uh, a strong leader in the community those are the kinds of things that we're looking for so that is week one remember that you're looking at two partnerships in your school uh, and you're answering some questions about them and then you're going to provide uh, fill out the chart on the strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats for this this is just getting an idea of what you have on your campus right now how successful these partnerships have been so that as you're thinking about with your campus mentor do we want to strengthen a partnership that we already have or is there a need in our school that will uh, generate the necessity for a new type of partnership so i hope you all have a great week don't forget that we have our web conference tomorrow evening you can find um, the information and the link uh, in the uh, blackboard course under weekly conferences and we start at 6 30 so we'll see you all uh, hopefully tomorrow evening and have a great day.